Here's what we got going on. Let's start here. Uh, we got the Multi Plus. It's, uh, looks like mains are on. I have it plugged into shore power and we're in absorption mode. Uh, this rocker switch here is how you can manually turn it on or off or just charge your only mode. Currently it's rocked up, so that's on. Uh, if, if we unplug from shore power, it will automatically uh, switch over and provide power through the rest of the trailer and the inverter light will then come on. This is, uh, what is this? This is inverter out to your main panel and all the outlets have power now and this is uh, incoming, which gets to our other fun, fun bay where a lot of the magic happened. Uh, that goes to the Serbo GX back there. That's where pretty much all the monitoring connections go. And it's pretty important. Then there's another ethernet cable from there that goes to this charge controller here. Because that is the big beefy one. That is actually, a, it's called a VE CAN, which is a uh, data standard for uh, devices communicating together and sharing data. So you can basically, you can daisy chain more together to without having to run individual cables for each. Like uh, these two cables here are really important. These two cables, uh, data cables connect to your battery monitor, which I ended up mounting here. Click a button there, it turns on. It should say, well, it's infinite right now. Uh, we're nearing this top of charge. Yeah, we're at 100%, well it's going to say 100%, but we are very near top of charge. Uh, the other thing... So we've got this charge controller mounted and plugged in, and that is, uh, that is for the outdoor panels or the uh, ground mount, ground deploy. Here's the star of the show, the Touch 50 display. And so we're currently plugged into shore power. We're only pulling in 170 some watts. We're pulling in no solar right now because uh, shore power is providing all the power and the chargers are in float mode. So how you can uh, navigate around this, you touch anywhere and you'll get two buttons, pages and menu. We're gonna go to menu. And here are the individual devices. Some of the things you're gonna wanna specifically wanna do is uh, you can control the multi-plus here um, <clears throat> on different shore power connections. You can change the input current limit uh, if you're on a smaller connection, you can dial that all the way down to... Oh, I'm looking through my phone. Yeah, you can dial that down all the way down to, I think, 7 amps or so. So, um, if you're on, like, a 15 amp, you know, just mooch docking somewhere, you can use that. The other thing that's important here is the switch. So, you can control this. This is uh, same as what's down there. So you can control this as well. And there's this other interesting data here. This is the DC amps that are coming in. DC voltage is at 14.4. I did set this up for lithium. Uh, and this is kind of nice too. Oh, you got really good power here. You got 124 volts coming in. Uh, and then that's what's going out. Sometimes you'll see a difference here. Uh, what else might you want to take a look at? You can look at individual solar panels or solar chargers and what they're seeing with their PV voltage and all that. So there's other things you can dig in here and play around with all kinds of stuff. Um, I don't, and then click pages to get back to that cool view. Overall, uh, I'm really happy with it. I think it, uh, it's pretty cool. Now let me show you uh, some of the other fun stuff on the outside. This is where I ended up mounting uh, this external port that I kind of put together. This is normally a roof port, but I mounted it this way so that if you're, uh, you know, aerodynamic. And I got some VHB tape all the way around here, so that should keep it nice and sealed. And uh, these, you should be able to just pop right off. I might have to hold on to it with two hands to pull it apart. 
I did cut off the, uh, there's some retaining clips here that are a pain in the butt to pull this out. So I cut those off. So these are much easier to disconnect now. And let's follow and see where these go. Over here, I was just testing it out a little bit. It's not making great power right now, but it gets the job done. And so you can mount those anywhere. Overall, the Black Series travel trailer is a joy to work on. They're well-built and make updating systems much easier.